Hi, it's Keith. I'm back in Hong Kong after an extensive trip in South Africa. So thank you for everybody who followed us, who attended our, um, it was a brilliant trip um, from Bloemfontein, Port Elizabeth, the Cape. Um, we ended in Durban. So it was a really good crowd of people, an amazing trip. And of course, obviously we in Johannesburg. Um, so thank you very much for following. One thing I did discuss um, at the meeting, and some people may have picked up on it, I was talking about our compatibility with our high voltage inverters. These are our 50 kilowatt, we've got an 80 kilowatt coming up very soon. But one thing is very important. First of all, I also mentioned about the use of protection equipment, gloves and masks and stuff when, when wiring these things, it's really, really important. But one of the things is the inverters don't have a common bus. The cables off the battery, one set of batteries will go to one inverter, cables off another can go to another inverter. So that in mind, we have a, a CAN bus, they're communicated by CAN bus, and the balancing, so if one set of batteries become higher than the other, the balancing is done through the AC cable. So therefore, it is very important that the communications between the inverter, so the inverter communicates through the BMU, the BMU is here, and the BMU communicates back down to the BMSs, the individual cells. That is very important. You've got so you've got the campus from here to here, from here to here. Now, what we found is experience is when we're using um, other branded batteries. I'm not saying one better than the other. I'm just saying when we found we're using other branded batteries, working one to one seemed to work. I can't guarantee anything, but it seemed to work. Um, but the problem happened is is when people are using multiple batteries and paralleling inverters because now when you've got two lots going on you've got the communication between the inverters the different bmus and the batteries on a CAN bus. there's lots and lots of things going on so you've got the data from here to the bmus the bmus to the inverter and the inverter talking to each other there's a lot of data being transferred between the different units and that's where we have compatibility problems because these our batteries were designed to go with our inverter. All of this code was written together. Now I'm sure there's lots of very clever people out there developing lots of batteries and got lots of code, but the code is complex. And as I say, working one-to-one -one is fine, but working multiple systems, we know our systems work. We know this works perfect. We've got lots of examples and it works brilliant. It works tree. Just plug, 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 plug. It works, job done. But if you're using an other branded battery, um, we'll try our best to help. But one thing to bear in mind, and I've got to say it, you know, the inverters work. It's not a problem on the inverter because it works perfect with our battery. So if there are issues with other batteries, and it could be any brand, and I'm not going to name any brand because some are better than the others for sure. But if it works with, if I have an issue with other brand batteries, please don't blame the inverter because it works. It absolutely works. You must go back to your battery supplier and discuss with them. If you're installing a system and you want a perfect system, then use the same brand. That's what they do in the, in the UK, the MCS. They have a grade A system. The best system is the same brand battery as the same brand inverter. It's important. Keep the branding the same. I, I, I always say it. There's lots and lots going on and batteries are starting because of the, the EV revolution. Um, there are lots of people saying, oh, well, buy cheaper or whatever. Of course you can. You always buy something cheaper. But, you know, if you look at something as a system and always bear in mind that the batteries are designed to go with the inverter. It's a complete system. And that's what I was saying. So I'm not saying is, you know, if somebody uses a non-brand of battery, of course, if they wire something wrong and they blow the inverter, then that's not a warranty claim. But if they're using the product and something goes wrong on the inverter, which is unrelated to the battery, of course, we're going to support it. No doubt, 100% support it. But we are experiencing huge problems with compatibility of paralleling together because we don't use a common bus. It's done a slightly different way. And oh, and don't forget, we're moving you know, this to the 50s. We're going to be having 80s and 100s soon. This, more power. It is about energy. It's also about the simplification to wire. And these wires are very, very simple. You've got two... Um, Two, two battery inputs on inverter, you can parallel the input or you can use two separate battery packs. It's simple to wire, because let's face it, this, this, this power this is dangerous. 
this is really dangerous. And we've seen cases of people just a slightly uh, not focusing on or any high voltage system, and especially in the DC world. You know, we're talking seven, eight hundred volts of DC. You know, if I touch it at two forty volt A seven, it will. It could kill you if you're very unlucky, but generally it'll give you a nasty belt. I touch a four hundred and forty volt three phase across phase, likely to end up in hospital, may possibly skin graft or something. It hurts a, a lot more, and it can do a lot more damage. But when you're in the DC world, the DC world is a very, very different world. The you know, people in the mysterious DC world, DC high voltage is dangerous. It can kill people and very, very easily. There's lots of examples on the internet and just go and have a look at it, how dangerous the DC is. And it is dangerous. You know, and if you short circuit one of these batteries, you are talking megawatts blowing up in your face because the internal resistance of a battery is very low. If you miss out the BMU, you're bypassing all the fuses and everything else. And if you make a slight mistake and you short circuit them, then you could get megawatts blowing up in your face, a bit like a lightning strike. So please, please, please be careful. Whatever training is available, look at it. Make sure you're training off an accredited trainer. It's very, very important. I, I, will, I will say to you, and make sure you're using the correct protection gear. But once more, finally say what I have been saying and what everybody else is saying. The best systems, whatever system, is always the same battery and the inverter. 100%. You know, and if, if you're not, you, you know, you might be using somebody else's, you know, different brand inverse and their brand inverse make their own batteries and their own comes. Fine. Fine. I, I, not a problem. But our system really works. And you know, one thing I was also trying to explain, we also offer amazing support, in-app support, if you've not used our app, 24 hours a day, seven days a week in multi-languages with real people real people not a computer not an ai you use the app you go to the application center on the app and you can ask questions about your systems you know 100 percent, 24 hours a day you know we can't replace an engineer coming to do a site visit or wiring but if you want to know questions about settings and all that you can do that you tell me what other inverter manufacturer on the whole planet a whole planet could do that anyway this is something which we're trying off we're really trying we want to have the best product, the best service. Now, people say, oh, but there's issues of service or whatever. You know, we do try so hard. And, you know, if you have problems or whatever, please talk to the, to the support center. If there's an issue, if you're waiting or whatever, please support. We, we will always support because you guys, the installers and the users, is, is what we work with. And we have done, you know, it's, you guys are so important to us. So I hope I'm trying to make things clear. Um, and I'm not being negative, I'm being really, really positive. Uh, I just want to make sure that the systems are installed, go out, and they're safe. And, you know, and make sure when we, when, we use, when we use this other batteries, make sure you've got some sort of protection. I've just removed it from here to show you. But we have actually have a, a barrier that covers all of this to tell people, keep clear, don't touch. You know, I don't want some cleaner coming cleaning the, the batteries with water. You know, and these, things are, these things are so dangerous. So... Please keep following us. Um, if there's any questions, you know, just put it on. You, you can put the comments on the blog, and I'm sure there'll be lots of comments. But all I can say is, this is a beautiful system. It's fantastic use for commercial. There's loads and loads of installs out there, and it really, really works. But just remember, the balancing is by communication, and the communication is very complex, especially when you've got multiple inverters and paralleling. And, you know, here's two. You imagine if I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten inverters. We can go up to ten. The communication between the inverters and they're all communicating each other and master slave. They've got to balance the batteries. It's all done through, through a CAN bus. And the actual balancing is on the AC side. That's the important side. To understand the balancing comes from the AC side. There's no common bus. If you're parallelly using an LV, it's a bit different because you've got a common bus. Anyway, thanks for following us. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll try and put more stuff out there soon. Cheers. Thank you.